So, you've got your NT1A kit, and today we're going to show you how to optimize your room's acoustics to get the best sound out of your NT1A. So we're here at Rode in the, uh, the room that has a lot of bright surfaces, windows, walls, bright walls, concrete, a bit of carpet on the floor, but the acoustics, very springy, not really uh, good for recording. So as I said, we're now going to go and buy some materials and we're going to turn this room into something that sounds good. We're going to make a vocal booth, something that you can move around, take with you anywhere and at low cost. So let's go shopping. Okay, so we've been shopping for all the cool stuff we need for our room treatment kit. First off, let's have a look at the tools. I've got my regulation safety shades. Very, very cool Armani. Armani plastic. A hammer. You need a hammer. A pair of cool scissors. That's to cut up the white stuff we bought before, that, that sort of uh, packing gear. Then we've got this device here. This is uh, for the eyelets, which we're going to bash into these really cool quilt covers that we bought. Remember we were in the store? Quilt covers. So, we're ready to roll. Check it out. Okay, we've opened up the Duna cover. I've got my eyelets. Let's bash them together. First off, my regulation Armani protective glasses. All right. Voila! So, we've got our cool little brass eyelets, one in each corner. Seriously, be careful if you're going to do this. I mean, it's pretty simple, but it's still tools and you can slam your hand with a hammer. So, if you're a complete klutz, get somebody else to do it. Right, one in each corner. Now let's fill them full of the white absorbent stuff. Right, -o. as you can see, that was, that was really easy and I did it all by myself. So, here they are. I've got my absorbent hanging duny duvet things. Let's get back into that reverberant room and sort it out. Okay, so we're back in the room here and as you can hear, highly reverberant. We've got windows over here, we've got some, a concrete wall, a thin carpet on the floor, pretty reverberant. Not a very nice room. You're not going to get a good sound recording in a room like this. But it kind of represents the average sort of bedroom, I suppose. So, now we're going to treat the room and completely change the acoustics. Check it out. Okay, so I'm going to now put some hooks into the wall. Now, if you're in a rental situation, uh, there's some pretty cool stick-on hooks that you can buy that actually don't damage walls. But, hey, it's totally up to you what you do. You do need a reasonably strong fixing so it doesn't fall off. I mean, it's not going to hurt you if it does fall on you. But, you know what I'm saying, you need to get it right. So, hooks go in now. Okay, so we've now built a great wall, or great corner of absorption. That was hard to say. Now, as you can see, because we didn't um, 
tie the absorbent wool to the top it's actually fallen down and bunched up which is actually cool it's actually what i wanted so we've got quite a thick section just where i'm going to be singing very very good as well as that if you can have a look at the floor here i've added something that uh, you probably should do too this is all about low frequency uh absorption or, or isolation low frequencies are very very hard to, to absorb and in fact this will not absorb really low frequencies. It's, it's not possible. It's going to get rid of mids, upper mids and highs, the reflections, which is what we're trying to achieve. But if you're living uh, in, near a place where there's a highway or, or roads, you're going to get very low uh, frequency sound coming through the floor. And the only way to, to get rid of it is to isolate the whole microphone stand. So what I've done here, I've got just two blocks of foam or one nice big block of foam and I've put the mic stand on it. So any low frequency vibrations coming to the floor will be reduced. It won't be coming into the stand because if it's not, it's going straight into the stand, straight into the mic onto your recording. So we have some low frequency isolation and we've got our corner now. If you, I don't know, you can go back and have a listen. Have a listen to the, the sound quality now that we've got. And of course, getting closer to the mic, as you saw in our recordings before, increases the, the sort of signal to outside area or outside noise, the signal to noise ratio. So the closer and the more intimate you get, the greater the level of the direct sound that you're going to have now. So my, my, my vocals will come through from me here, straight to the microphone, into the soft material, which will burn up a lot of energy. So I've created a really cool recording corner and as you can see or as i say as you can hear very nice you can also add another of these above you if you wanted to or one across here make like a an isolation vocal booth really cheap put it anywhere and when you leave you unclip it and you're done so this is a really cool very simple way of getting your a vocal booth at home have fun experiment you can't go wrong hang things in different positions add more add less experimentation is to go but you will hear it when you've got it right